Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve a section D question from quadratic equations chapter which had appeared in CBSE board exam 2025. Now this question has an OR question as well that is either you can attempt the A question or the B one. Now in this video I'll be discussing the A question only because the question B had appeared in CBSE board compartment exam 2024 as well which I have already solved. So you will find the solution to this question in the link above and I will also drop down the link in the description box below along with the timestamp. So let us start with the first question now. The perimeter of a right triangle is 60 cm and its hypotenuse is 25 cm. Find the lengths of other two sides of the triangle. So let us try to understand this question by using a rough figure first. So here they have said that there is a right angled triangle whose perimeter is going to be 60 cm and the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle is 25 cm. Now we have to find out the length of rest two sides. So here we have considered a right angle triangle whose one of the sides is labeled as A, the other side is labeled as B and the hypotenuse is given as C which is equal to 25 cm. Now we have to find out the length of A and length of B. So for that we are going to make use of perimeter and the perimeter is the sum of all the sides of the given shape. So here we have the shape as triangle. So we are going to add all the sides of this triangle that is A plus B plus C. Now the next step is plugging in the values. So A plus B will stay the same plus C is the hypotenuse whose value is 25 is equal to the perimeter is given as 60. So the equation becomes A plus B plus 25 equal to 60. Now taking 25 on the other side of equal to sign, we get a plus b is equal to 60 minus 25 giving us a plus b is equal to 35. Now we are going to rearrange this equation giving us b is equal to, now taking a on the other side we get 35 minus a. So let us consider this equation now as equation 1. Now in the next step, since we have a right angle triangle, let us make use of Pythagoras theorem which is c square that is hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of the square of rest two sides that is a square plus b square. Now we are going to plug in the value of c that is 25. So we get 25 square is equal to a square plus in place of b we are going to substitute the value we have got here that is 35 minus a the whole square. Now in the next step we have just expanded the brackets. So 25 square is 625 is equal to a square plus now 35 minus a the whole square is of the form x minus y the whole square. This is an algebraic identity. So this will expand as x square minus 2xy plus y square. So using this identity we have written 35 square minus 2 times 35 times a plus a square. Now simplifying this we get 625 is equal to a square plus 35 square gives us 1225 minus 2 times 35 is 70 times a plus a square. Now let us further simplify this. So a square plus a square they both are like terms. So we are adding them together to give us 2a square minus 70a plus 1225 and 625 we have got it on the other side of equal to sign giving us minus 625 equal to 0. Now further simplifying this we get 2a square minus 70a. Now subtracting these two, we get the answer as plus 600 equal to 0. Now 2a square minus 70a plus 600 all go in the table of 2. So we have divided all the three terms by 2 and also the right hand side by 2. So here 2 divides itself giving us 1a square. Now 2 divides 70 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 35 times is 70 and 2 divides 600 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 300 times is 600 and 0 divided by 2 gives us 0 itself. So here we have got the simplified equation as a square minus 35a plus 300 equal to 0. Now we are going to factorize this equation using splitting the middle term method. So here 1 multiplies by 300 giving us 300. So we have to find out two factors of 300 in such a way that when you multiply them you should get 300 and when you add them you should get negative 35. So here the two factors are going to be negative 15 and negative 20. So when you take negative 15 and negative 20 and when you multiply them you will get 300 
and when you add these two you will get negative 35. So here we are going to group the first two terms and the last two terms. So from the first two terms we have the common factor as a. So we have taken it out and inside the bracket remains a minus 15. Now from the second group negative 20 is a common factor and inside the bracket remains a minus 15 equal to 0. Now a minus 15 is a common factor so we have taken it out and the remaining factors are taken together that is a minus 20 equal to 0. Now we are going to take each factor equal to 0 that is a minus 15 equal to 0 and a minus 20 equal to 0. So we get two values of a that is a is equal to 15 and a is equal to 20. Now once we have got the values of a let us find out the values of b. So we had the equation of b as 35 minus a which we had got as equation 1. So we are going to plug in the value of a as 15 first. So b is equal to 35 minus 15. So that will give us the value of b as 20. So when a is 15, b is 20. And when a is 20, we get 35 minus 20 giving us the value of b as 15. So when value of a is 15, b is 20. And if the value of a is 20, the value of b is 15. So these are the values of the rest two sides of the given right angled triangle that is 20 and 15. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful then check out this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.